Life cycle of a flowering plant. Carefully notice the pictures of these plants. Which plants are flowering plants and which are non-flowering plants? Write flowering or non-flowering in the space given below. The first one is a non-flowering plant. Second is also non-flowering. Third is flowering. Fourth is non-flowering. Fifth is flowering. And the sixth one is also flowering. The diagram shows the life cycle of a flowering plant. Use the words in the box to help you label the diagram. According to the life cycle, a seed forms a new plant, the new plant flowers, and each flower gives a fruit. Identify and color in the different parts of the flower. Use these colors. Green is for the sepals, blue for petals, orange is anther, black is the filament, yellow is stigma and the brown is ovary. You can color it in your book if you have the book. These sentences describe the different parts of a flower and their functions. Use the words in the box to fill in the spaces below. The petals often have bright colors to attract insects. The male parts of the flower are the stamens. They make pollen in their tips, which are called anthers. The female part of the flower is called the carpel. It is made up of the stigma which collects pollen and the ovary which contains the eggs. Here's the label diagram. Write labels on the drawing for parts A, B, C and D. Which part of the flower is missing? The petals. Add the missing part to the drawing. The questions 5 and 6 have already been answered through the drawing. What color would you expect the following parts of the plant to be? Explain your answers. For part A, it can be yellow, orange or brown. The anther contains the pollen which is yellow, orange or brown. Part D. Green. It's a sepal which is a small green leaf on the outside of the flower.